guys, happy Friday and welcome back to another video. Um, I thought today I would just turn the camera on and do a vlog. I don't know what this vlog is gonna entail. I don't really have many plans, but I just thought I'd kind of bring you along with me and maybe do a little bit of a what I wore in a week kind of video. But yeah, I hope you are all doing really well and had a good week. This week has been a little bit of a mixed one for me. Obviously I was in Paris at the weekend and we got back on Monday night. So Monday was amazing. Honestly, we had the best time. It was so fun couldn't recommend Paris more for a girls trip. It was just what we needed. Perfect kind of mix of nice restaurants and drinks and shopping and walking around. We just had a great time. We went to the Moulin Rouge, which was incredible. Um, I'd actually seen it before and it was still as good the second time. Um, what else did we do? We went to Mun Restaurant, which was unbelievable. You know when you literally can't believe your eyes at the view, that's what it was like. Um, and we went there for like an early dinner. So we saw the Eiffel Tower in like the daylight and then it also went really dark and started glimmering as well. And it was just unbelievable. So yeah, definitely recommend there for the view and the sushi was really good as well and then yeah we just went to a lot of cute cafes and things and just ate and drank and it was great fortunately i did have another stomach episode on the sunday after i'd eaten some lunch still don't know what's causing that to be honest and really no correlation we kind of thought it was maybe dairy i think i had like a smoked salmon and cheese bagel but yeah, it wasn't that much dairy and then I've proceeded to continue eating dairy after then and been fine. So yeah, really not sure what the cause is, but I rang my GP earlier in the week and I'm gonna go for some tests just to kind of see if it's a food intolerance or something. It's probably just IBS, but yeah, it's really, really painful. And I quite like to know what is triggering it so I can just kind of avoid those foods. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you updated on my stomach issues <laughs> if you're interested. But yeah, and then when I got back on Monday, it was quite late. I think we landed maybe around midnight or 11 to midnight, something like that. But I was getting into bed at like 1 a.m. And just as I was getting to bed, I went to get my phone charger out of my bag realized I'd left my handbag on the plane. Who even does that? And yeah, it was a whole situation. I was so emotional and I know it's ridiculous. It's just a bag. That bag has so much sentimental value to me. It was a gift from my parents for passing my ACA. Um, and yeah, and then it's really featured in pretty much every photo that's kind of grown my what and what Instagram account. So yeah, that bag has my heart and I was absolutely gutted. Um, so then on the Tuesday, I basically spent the whole morning like on the phone to EasyJet, on the phone to Manchester Airport. I wasn't getting through to anyone, they just kept passing me different numbers. And then I just thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna turn up at the airport and I'm just gonna try and like ask someone and see what happened. And, but yeah, it was there and I got it back and I was so grateful. Um, thanking all the good karma energy that brought that bag back to me because yeah, I'd be lost without it. But yeah, today is a new day and I'm gonna try and be really productive. And um, I'm just checking the time because I've got a call at 10. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a while ago I put a question box on my Instagram about potentially starting to rent out my my clothes. This is one of the things I feel really passionately about and want to definitely start doing. Um, I just feel like rental is the way forward. I have so much clothes and I am such a hoarder with clothes and I adore all of the clothes that I share with you guys, otherwise I wouldn't share them. Um, but yeah, they only get worn maybe once or twice a year. Some of the like occasion dresses and things that I share with you. Um, so yeah, I would love to have a way to kind of share my wardrobe with you guys um, so that you can kind of use the dresses too. But yeah, I'm looking into that. So I've got a call with a rental platform actually at 10 a.m. today to see if they can help me with that. Um, so yeah, excited for that call and then what else have I got today oh I'm filming the running slash marathon at Q&A and um, I did try to film that yesterday I filmed maybe half of it um, I just kind of felt like I was rambling and um, wasn't really making much sense so I've actually gone through picked out the key questions and kind of summarized all the key things that I want to say because I kept thinking that I've missed stuff out and then it was getting a little bit messy so gonna try and do that today and hopefully it'll be a little bit more concise and clear um, then I've got a little campaign to shoot for All Soul. Um, they actually sent me some running VJs, which I have been trying out this morning. Absolutely loved them. They were so comfy. So can't wait to share those with you. I think they might give me a discount code. So if they do, I will leave that below and I will link the trainers. I think I showed you on my little montage this morning. So that is my plan for today. I will take you along with me where I can and I will speak to you later. Hey guys, I'm so sorry I've been the world's worst vlogger. It is now the day after and it's about five o'clock. 
So I didn't film much yesterday after I spoke to you all, but I had a really busy day. I filmed the marathon running Q&A and then a few ads and story campaigns. So yeah, it was a busy day. And then me and Ollie just went for a quick meal downstairs. Um, and it was a pretty chilled night to be honest. He's now gone to Wembley. Um, and this morning I went to Barry's and met Becky for brunch. I tried to take some little clips because I forgot the camera. So I'll insert those from my phone. But yeah. I am now about to head out. I've been filming all day, it's so warm. Uh, the weather looks incredible, so I'm desperate to get out. So yeah, I'm gonna go home this weekend, see my family, um, really looking forward to it. I was hoping to see my nana. She was hoping to come down from Scotland, but she's not feeling well, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, I'll still see my mum, my dad, and hopefully my brother. Um, but yeah, really excited to go. Look how beautiful it is outside. Oh, I can't wait. Um, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to do this weekend. I just kind of want to enjoy it with my family because I've not seen them for like three weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll take you along where I can. I'll just quickly show you my outfit before I head out. So I'm wearing these really nice floaty trousers from Zara. Um, just paired them with my Hermes brown sandals. I um, absolutely love these. They're really comfy. Um, and then this top is a little Zara number as well. I'll leave it all linked below. Just think this will be really nice styled with like jeans and things and also looks good with these trousers. Um, just a handy little top. I also picked it up in white as well. It is actually like a knit material, so it is quite warm, but yeah, it's short sleeved. Um, my glasses are Celine and my YSL bag, which came back to me. Thank you, universe. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit. Let me know what you think. I'll leave it linked below and I'll also link the outfit that I wore to Barry's today because um, I think I took a little video in the changing rooms. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a lovely sunny Saturday wherever you are. Such nice weather today, not as sunny as yesterday, but still feels really warm. I'm in this outfit that I've literally been wearing non-stop. Um, it's just the cream ribbed activewear set with this H&M blazer and my New Balance trainers, if you can see. Um, but yeah, I think the plan is to just go for a little bit of walk and then I'm gonna edit the running marathon Q&A video later today. Hopefully either get that out tonight or tomorrow. We didn't do much last night. We went out for a little meal at our local Italian. It was actually really nice, really good service and really nice food. Um, it was this like, I don't even know how to describe it, like little event in our village or town last night where they had like live music and stuff. It was really cute and it was a really nice evening. Um, but yeah, just on a walk. Do you want to say hi, mum? Uh, <laughs> she is a walking fanatic. Um, and I've actually been taking you out on some little runs actually, haven't I? Yeah. Um, she's trying to get better at running and trying to get her to do a park run. We'll get there. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. but I've just got back to the flat. Well, I got back about two hours ago. I've been editing a video. Ollie has been on with the meal prep. Thank you so much, Oll, again. <laughs> um, we're just kind of finishing it up, but I just thought I'd quickly come on and show you because I normally get a lot of DMs about meal prep and stuff, so I just thought I'd show you what we're having for this week, which is unfortunately the exact same as last week because we forgot to update the food shop, but yeah we move for lunch we've got corn bolognese with pasta and broccoli ollie's done the pasta really well tonight it tastes so good he says what do you put it down to all a load of salt in the um, pasta water, he said, but it really tastes so much better than every other week. So yeah, that is for lunch. And then for tea, same as usual, salmon, rice, broccoli, and carrots. Um, we were definitely gonna mix it up this week, but we just completely forgot to change food order. Um, but yeah, three nights for tea and three nights for lunch because we've got a few meals out this week. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I do absolutely love doing meal prep on a Sunday. It just makes me feel so productive and like ready for the week ahead. But yeah. Hope you all have a great week. Hey guys, sorry, there's been a little bit of a gap since I last picked up the camera. It is now Tuesday afternoon, it's around 4 p.m. I'm just about to nip out to get my hair done. Um, I just thought I'd quickly come on and show you my outfit. I'm not having anything done to my hair, just a really tiny trim. I just feel like it needs to just be a little bit more of a blunt cut. Um, then I'm actually going to Reforma Pilates tonight with Becky. I've never done Reforma Pilates, so so excited. Heard it's like amazing for your core and abs and stuff. So yeah, really excited to try that. Um, um, but yeah, I thought I'd come on and show you my outfit. It's my little running errands slash Pilates look. 
today. I'm wearing this tank bra from Adenola in white. Um, these leggings are also Adenola in this nice kind of taupe brown colour. Um, my Yeezys, which are from Soul Scene. Um, I think I've still got a discount code for them, so I'll leave them linked below. Um, and this hoodie that I've put over the top is also Adenola. Absolutely loving Adenola stuff at the moment. I feel like they're bringing out so much good stuff. Um, hopefully actually working with them at the end of this month as well. So, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. Loving all their stuff at the moment. Actually having the day off tomorrow. I've basically been invited to a completion dinner at my old work which is for a deal that I worked on and completed when I was still employed and they very kindly still invited me to the completion dinner so I've got that tomorrow at the Ivy it'll be private dining and then we've got an area at this really nice bar book so it should be a really good event um, but yeah obviously I've left it to the last minute to decide what to wear I didn't know what the weather was going to be doing but it's going to be 20 degrees and sunny so yeah you need to try and find an outfit for that tonight I'll come on and chat to you again when I'm kind of deciding what to wear. Hey guys, so I'm back from my Reforma Pilates. It was really good. Really different to anything that I've done before. I was really kind of feeling the burn in like my legs and my core. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to do something that wasn't like really high intensity. Um, yeah, it was really nice, enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna try and go maybe once a week. People say it's really good for like core strength and abs and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's definitely what I wanna work on. I've just got back and there have been a few parcels delivered. So I'm just doing a little bit of a try on and thought I would come on and show you. So I've just opened a parcel from Mermaids. I've never ever shot there before, um, but I was thinking of picking up a few little bits for Mykonos. The first thing I've got on, and I don't know if you can see this by the way, but hopefully if I stand this far back, you might be able to see. This long maxi crochet skirt um, in white. I think this is really, really nice actually. Um, I also ordered a shorter crochet skirt, but it was too short, um, but I really like the length of this one. Just got it on with my Hunza G swimsuit. Yeah, I feel like this is a really cute look for Mykonos. I'll leave it linked down below, but yeah, I've never ordered from there before, but the delivery was really fast. This isn't gifted or an ad or anything, but yeah. I think I quite like that. I'm in my PJs now because I realised the only other thing I ordered was a bikini. I'm not sure you came on this channel to see me in a bikini at 9pm at night. Um, so yeah, that was everything that I got from Mermaids. I got a little crochet skirt that's down here. Yeah, it's here. I got this little crochet skirt which is really, really cute. Um, but it was just too short. Um, so yeah, if you are smaller, definitely get this because it is so, so cute. Um, and then since then... I've just been, had a massive parcel arrived from Adenola because I'm actually shooting a reel with them later this week. So I was just planning all the outfits for that because I'm gonna do like a different outfit for a different kind of exercise event. So like Barry's, F45, morning walk, park run. What's the other one? Pilates now, because I've been officially a Pilates gal. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm saying Pilates right, but you know what I mean. Now the plan is, oh by the way, I got my hair cut, didn't I? I told you before, really kind of blunt straight cut. It feels so much healthier, but feels really short, which is sad. Anyway, need to steam those dresses now, and then I'm gonna get ready for bed. Night guys. Hey guys, so I'm just about to go out for my lunch. Sorry, today has been mega busy. I shot a reel for Adenola this morning, um, super productive, um, and then just been getting ready. But you know, one of them times when you're getting ready in a rush and everything goes wrong. I've literally smashed like a foundation bottle all over the bathroom. Yeah, it's just been a little bit chaotic, but I'm actually ready on time, 15 minutes to spare. I'm gonna get an Uber. Um, but yeah, I'm just wearing this dress from Zara that I picked up yesterday. I think this is so cute. Um, let me know what you think. And my under the story sandals, so yeah. This is the look guys, a little bit of lunch in the sun and yeah, see my old work colleagues, exciting times. And then yeah, I'm going to 20 stories which has like a roof terrace. Um, so yeah, hopefully the sun stays out and that'll be nice. Um, but yeah, loving this weather. I'm not gonna take a jacket, I think it's 20 degrees. Um, yeah, just feeling very happy and excited today. So yeah, I'm not gonna take my camera with me because I feel like I'll have anxiety getting my camera out in front of people that I used to work with. Um, but yeah, I will speak to you when I get back. Bye guys. So it's now the day later, it is Thursday afternoon. It's about six o'clock, I've just had my tea and evening snack. Um, 
I think I last spoke to you yesterday before I headed out for lunch. It was a really good day yesterday. I had a really good time. And um, it was so nice to see like some of my old like work colleagues again. Um, and it was just really good vibes. Actually, everyone was in a really good mood. My mum came down today to help me out with a few jobs. And um, we're going we were going through and sorting out all the dresses that we're getting ready to hopefully rent out. Um, and then we just thought we'd head to the traffic centre quickly because we didn't realise, but you can get on the tram now. It's really easy from city centre. So we did that. It only took about 15 minutes to get there. Um, so yeah, we did that because my mum needed to find a wedding guest outfit for my cousin's wedding, which is in August. We found a really nice one actually. If I can find a photo of it, I'll show you. She did it, it didn't have her size, but I'm gonna order it for her this evening so she can get it. It's from Hobbs. Oh, I don't know who you'll be able to see on this photo, but maybe I'll be able to insert it. I think you can see that at all. It's like long sleeve sage. Really nice kind of jeweled neckline, um, but yeah, just really classic and nice. She looks so nice in it. So yeah, really glad that she's found that because she's been looking for ages. Um, so yeah, then it actually turned into a little bit of a homeware shop. Um, nipped into H&M Home. It's the first time I'd ever been there. I didn't even realise it had opened, to be honest. Um, so I ended up picking up a few bits. I thought I'd just kind of unbox them for you now. Um, so the first thing is this Unreal Vase. It's so heavy. I was actually going through them in the store because I think they're all quite unique. Um, it's like a marble kind of vase, really nice. I think that is just really cute to add a little bit of coloring. So we've got a very neutral theme going on at the moment in here. I also picked up these um, like toothpaste and toothbrush holder and kind of soap dispenser. I feel like these are really cute. I just thought these would be really nice for the bathroom. And I also picked up some fresh white towels because it goes absolutely mental at me that they get fake tan on them. And um, so yeah, picked us up some nice fresh white towels. Feel like there's nothing better. Um, yeah, another one, a hand one, and then I think I also picked up some little oh yeah, some little black hand towels as well. They're really handy for just like washing your face and stuff. And then I also got um, we call our plant Ralph. Got Ralph a little new plant pot so he's not on the floor got little legs i really like this thing it's really cute and it goes with our kind of tv unit which is like rattan so yeah really cute i had so much stuff in there i really wanted to get loads of the plates but they're really heavy and i actually finally found got these like marble coasters which i absolutely love and i've been looking for placemats that match it um, and h&m home actually had them but they were so heavy I was like, there's no way me and my mum are going to be able to carry four of these back. So definitely going to order the placemats and a couple of plates and stuff as well because they had so much nice stuff in. Um, I did actually nip into Zara as well and picked up a few bits. I didn't try it on as well, which is always a big risk with Zara, I feel like. Um, so just kind of guess the sizing, but I will show you what I picked up from Zara as well. Oh, the first thing I picked up was actually this blue little top from Zara with these huge puff sleeves, absolutely massive. I don't know what this is going to look like on, but it was just like a really nice fresh blue colour. So yeah, I thought it was worth a try. I just love that colour at the moment. I just think it looks so kind of fresh with a good pair of denim jeans, which look here. I just thought these were such a nice colour. If I try this on tomorrow, I'll insert some cutaways. But yeah, I really like these. But it's a really nice kind of wash. I think they are, let's see if it says... It just says high rise ankle length. I don't think they're the mumjis. I think they're kind of straight leg, but they're like a raw hem, which I quite like. And so yeah, see what those look like on. And then the other thing I got, there was absolutely loads of these at the front. So I feel like it's gonna be one of those dresses that everyone has, but it's like this tuxedo, like halter neck dress in white. I just thought this would be really, really pretty on holiday, hopefully in Mykonos. Um, yeah, I picked this up in a size S. I wasn't quite sure what size to go for, but I don't like dresses to be too tight. And the one I wore yesterday was an S and I felt like that fit really well. So yeah, that is what I went for. And then this one, I just saw it on the hanger and I thought this would be really cute. It's just like a casual everyday dress. It's kind of like pleated um, midi length and it has actually got a slit and like a little belt. I just thought it would be really nice with some black sandals um, and a bag. Um, but yeah, that was everything I picked up. Um, we also went to Ted Baker. Well, we went to Selfridges and they, it was really good in the traffic centre. They've got so many different brands and stuff. We're in the Ted Baker concession and I actually tried on a couple of dresses in there, which I really, really liked. It is just a little bit higher price point. So although I loved it, I was like, I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of it. I'll see if I've got a photo and I can show you. This was um, one of them I tried on. It was a little bit too big 
if you can see there. I thought that would be really nice to wear to like a beach club or something in Mykonos. Um, this was the size 8 and it was a little bit big. So yeah, I needed to try a smaller size in that but they didn't have any. And then this in New Look which I did quite like actually but I had I kind of wanted to wear it with trainers but I think it probably needs to be with heels because it's really long. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for like a wedding guest outfit, I thought that was really cute in New Look and it was only like less than £40 I think. Yeah, I've not taken a photo of the other one in Ted Baker, that's annoying, but that was about it really. It was just a bit of a quick trip to be honest. We didn't go into like H&M or Mango, we were just trying to find my mum a dress, which thankfully we did find her one. And bless my mum, she actually brought me this little gift, I'll show you once. It actually came in this little bag, it's so cute, and it's this little positivity bottle and it says believe you can and you will good luck you've got this and my heart literally just melted how precious are mums and um, i'm gonna keep that forever it's so cute but yeah i think that is everything and um, the outfit that i'm wearing today is this novo london t-shirt these zara high-waisted trousers and my vijas really cute simple outfit um, but yeah, really liked it and got a compliment on it in Zara, which is always nice. But yeah, I think I might close this vlog off now because I feel like I don't know how many days it's been going on for and don't know if it's a very exciting vlog or not. But yeah, if you made it to the end, then thank you so much. I will link all of these Zara pieces and H&M Home stuff below and everything that I've been wearing throughout this video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.